Mr. Speaker, although I am faced with a significant um, majority putting to one, I am I have still um, make the contribution that I have to make, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, um, I stand to make my contribution on the 2.5% health and security tax that we are debating here today. In the Prime Minister's budget earlier this year, he spoke to two critical pillars, health and security. And it is a fact that we are living in an environment right now where these two sectors require significant attention, Mr. Speaker, um, as they are definitely sectors that seem to be gathering the most attention where a lot of people require the services from this sector, Mr. Speaker. And, Mr. Speaker, I understand that in our environment, you know, we, we need to gather other, other ways to create revenue to service some of these sectors, Mr. Speaker. But my question and concern at this juncture is whether the timing is right whether the timing at this time is right for the 2.5% tax that we have been um, asked to um, support. And I say that, Mr. Speaker, because none of us can deny that cost of living is, is high. None of us can deny that the government in their last um, budget address posted a surplus. None of us can deny the government has um, also confessed of doing very well. And so the question is, with all of that, whether, you know, at this point in time, we should be faced with such, such a tax, Mr. Speaker. I believe it is, a, it is a really easy way to collect revenue, Mr. Speaker. And I say that because I believe the government should explore other ways in terms of attracting revenue. And one of them that strikes me every day is the number of what we term small infractions, minor infractions, particularly when it comes to traffic infractions, Mr. Speaker. It is very, very significant, the number of um, lawbreakers who do what they do with impunity and who feel they can just get away with what they do, Mr. Speaker. And I believe the time has come for various legislative changes to empower, particularly now the police are a lot more mobile, to empower the police with the, with the immediate ability to charge when some of these infractions are committed on our road. Because, Mr. Speaker, I asked somebody recently whether it's whether I'm getting old because I am, yes, I know I am. <laughs> but uh, driving, Mr. Speaker, and I know I am dead level, Mr. Speaker. But everybody coming around a bench to be on my side. And if you try to, you know, um, what, what's going on? You get people, you know, um, um, cursing you out. You get people overtaking you on the left side, Mr. Speaker. You get this um, adjusted headlight. There's so many infractions on the road, Mr. Speaker. And I believe, Mr. Speaker, that we can make significant revenue if um, the, the police are given the powers to, to address some of these. I've always said, Mr. Speaker, particularly now, again, with the additional um, motorbikes that are, that are on the road, that they should, I, I'm not sure how they, the police service is run, but I believe, particularly on our cruise today, um, Catherine Highway, we need to have every hour uh, a bike leaving goes in and a bike leaving um, 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 Catherine. So there's continuous police presence and they have the, 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 the power. I recognize and, and, I, and I must commend the, the, the Prime Minister and uh, through, through the government of, of Taiwan with the latest equipment that we have received. And I'm hoping the police will get a lot more of that to enable them to do their, their work. Another area, Mr. Speaker, I believe that we are, are, are not um, very forceful and active is the whole area of littering. 
and, and, and both of you have uh, spoken on, 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 on the security side and now speaking on the health side. The area of Lisbon, Mr. Speaker, you know, our people meet up with impunity. We see the pictures, um, you know, and I think it's time that tough penalties begin to be imposed on some of these people who feel they can just, because Mr. Speaker, these small infractions are what empower a lot of the people who, who now are committing bigger crimes, you know, Mr. Speaker, because they got away with a small one and they believe they, they can get away with a bigger one, Mr. Speaker. Um, but the, the problem I believe, and I say we, I say we because I believe it has spun various um, um, governments, is that we are afraid that if we do some of these things, we'll be stepping on the toes of people who supported us, Mr. Speaker. And I believe that mentality has to change, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, um, I, 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 speak, I also would like to speak on the issue of um, the universal health care. I am hoping that a portion of what will be collected will be uh, going to further assist many people coming to the hospitals in the first place. Because, Mr. Speaker, I am facing it every day, and I am the member for Castro South spoke about it. The people who come to him um, seeking medical attention, Mr. Speaker, can size up. Big thing these days, Mr. Speaker. I have people who, 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 who have to, you know, um, undergo chemotherapy and they can't even pay for it, Mr. Speaker, and they come to me for assistance, Mr. Speaker. And I believe, you know, I, I applaud the government with regards to the maternal and child care that has been um, put in place, but I believe, you know, we need to fast track some of the additional services that are given to our people, Mr. Speaker. The, 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 the Minister of Health spoke about the whole issue of. Um, St. Jude's, and, and I get the impression that there's some construction happening at St. Jude's, but I can't remember if we had any, any public announcement with regards to a contract being given. So I'm hoping that some enlightenment could, could be given with regards to that, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, while I understand, but at this point in time, I cannot support the tax subsidy because I believe you know, it will bring additional burden to the people, regardless of the fact that a number of areas were excluded. But when you look at the dynamics of how things work, some of the areas that the tax are being imposed on will indirectly affect some of the areas where the tax is not um, being put on and, 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 and definitely increase the rates of some of these things. So Mr. Speaker, with that being said, I, I rest my contribution. Thank you.